Happy now, all is now, so get to be in the present. First, say sign up back in here, putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness. You're now tuning into the mind of an alternate moon, and Horus will be transiting the fifth house in the sky as I make this video. And this is going to be my first video on Mars, okay? So I'm going to be doing Mars interpretations now, okay? So the last uh, series I did was Venus. This will be Mars, okay? So we're going to kick it off with the first sign, which will be Mars in Aries, okay? So this is where Mars likes to be. Mars is home in Aries. Mars is familiar with, with uh, you know, being in Aries. Mars in Aries placement, okay? So with this, Mars is your planet of, it's your planet of actions. So how you take actions, willpower, intent, motivation, drive, sex drive, some say, you know, that willpower that allows you to carry on through life, that extra energy needed. We can say your sun is your vitality, your ego, but that Mars is that extra fuel that fuels your ego, that fuels your vitality. So this Mars is just that extra kick, okay, for energy and how you go about taking action in your reality, right? So with this, Mars and Aries, okay? So off the bat, you know, Aries, okay, is ruled by Mars, okay? This is the masculine side of Mars, okay? With uh, Scorpio holding that feminine side. So Mars, Mars and Aries, this is, you know, someone who will have the vitality and, and the drive to take actions in their life towards whatever they desire head first. It'll be seen as head first. With a Mars in Aries, you know, the, the, you know, the desires and for, for, you know, an, an action and how they take action towards their desires, you know, is, is seen as a leader type. Someone who is a go-getter. Someone who's a go-getter. Someone who can, you know, just off the bat desire something and, you know, manifest a way on how they can go get it. And with this, it can also be someone who is impatient towards their desires. So that's a, that's, that's a, a positive and negative to everything, right? So this is a an exalted placement with Mars in, in Aries. This isn't an exalted placement. And the thing is, with an exalt exaltation, you know, especially with the Mars, you sh you share uh, 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 sextiles, aka opportunities to to burn yourself out, always taking actions and giving birth to new desires giving birth to new desires you know with 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 this because aries is that birth it gives birth birth to the zodiac wheel so with this you share possible uh, action let's say uh manifest situations where you're always giving birth to new desires and it's positive and negative to that as well okay so yeah taking action this but you know, the willpower and the intent and the motivation, you know, will be seen as original, you know. You know, this could be someone who's a sportsman with this. With this could be someone who's a sportsman, someone who can play, you know, sports, someone who wants to move their body, someone who is who is who is in tune with energy, you know, who is in tune with this energy realm and know how to use their energies for themselves they know how to use their energy for themselves you know and they know they see themselves and how they they can use their vitality and their life force in this reality and and they show this externally they feel you know mars is also you know dealing with that feeling intense intense feeling within we can we can also make Mars that that rage you know 
Mars that rage or let's say passion rage or passion okay so this is someone who is very passionate on on whatever they 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 take action towards anything they're they're taking action towards they will be passionate about it you know with this placement with mars and aries okay so this is again mars mars influence mars is, is you know is 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 home here okay so it's just like this is highly competitive it, this could be someone who is highly competitive in whatever they're doing you know it doesn't have to be a sport competition is 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 is, is a is a is a thing here you know they 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 they, they will love the competition you know they'll love to be head first you know they'll love to be yeah head first and in, in no matter what they're doing you know when Mars and Aries Mars and Aries we could say is just that it's almost like it, it kicks off the Mars you know Aries kicks off the Mars so it's just like you know they're just fast fast and whatever they do you can't necessarily track down someone with Mars and Aries because this is a planet of you know desires motivation intent willpower and whatever they desire you know that's the thing this is sitting they're sitting with 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 they're sitting internally mars is a yin planet okay this is more yin so they're sitting internally with with their desires they sit with their desires they have an inner standing on their desires more than i would say almost any other mars placements you know so they have an inner standing when it comes to desires these people have mastered their desires or will have mastered their desires in their in this reality you know they won't know desires for what it is you know and if they have not mastered their desires this is when it can be chaotic where you're always giving birth to new and new desires you know so yeah with this placement mars and in, in aries is is uh you know really 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 imperative that you master your desires in this reality what is it that you desire you know do you have too many desires you know so yeah it's gonna be short quick but straight to the point mars and aries okay first say signing out catch you next time